Spots are getting rain and a few will get rain this evening, but most areas will be rain free. In other words, that overall decision to move some of the gains from tomorrow night to tonight was a very good one. As you can see, the clouds are pretty flat as we look out here from a top red mountain from our studios, and that would mean most of these will probably not develop into showers. A few, however, have already done that. Talladega County, Shelby County, Clay County down in the Chilton County. They're not super widespread. They're not very large, so they're not lasting very long because they're moving fairly quickly. And I think looking at this and looking at the latest models, best chance for a shower this evening would be Shelby, Talladega, Clay County down to Tallapoosa, Coosa and Chilton County too, and maybe a little bit up in Calhoun County. I can't rule out one elsewhere, but I think most of them will be over here. And as you can see, it's raining hard in the core of these things from just east of Vincent on south through Childersburg, but they're not very big, so they won't last very long with that fast motion down to the south too. Clanton's about to get some of that rain moving in from the northeast, moving away from the Coosa River. Your 12 hour forecast and for this evening, a few isolated showers out there. We'll call it about a 20% chance of rain the rest of the night, probably rain free as we'll get down to 69 or 70 for a low. The Crimson Tide, it's going to be a hot one for sure tomorrow. No question about it in Austin, Texas. 86 at kickoff, rising to at least 94, if not 96. They'll be ready for the heat, I'm sure. I'm not sure all the fans will. For UAB football at Liberty in Lynchburg, Virginia tomorrow evening, 77 degrees at kickoff. Could be a shower here, 72. And for the Auburn Tigers, I think the same basic deal. Shower, thunderstorm possible, especially first half, and then the second half a little bit better. Okay, we go through tonight. We'll see minimal coverage of showers. Can't rule one out, but I think much better rain chances tomorrow, which means more of us will need the rain gear tomorrow. First thing in the morning tomorrow probably won't be raining, maybe even be a little bit of sunshine during the afternoon. Notes clouds up by one o'clock, some rain, especially over the east, much more widespread by the time we get to the evening. I don't think we're talking widespread flooding rains. I don't think we're talking severe storms, but enough to make it wet outside. Seven day forecast looking like this tomorrow, then an impact day, rainy periods, especially afternoon and evening. 81, the best will do for a high temperature. Some showers lingering on Saturday and 83. Then the rain becomes less common Sunday and Monday of next week. And we still expect a beautiful period Tuesday through Thursday. Highs in the low 80s, lows in the low 60s. That is something to look forward to.